Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Welcome back to Factory Town. That's right. Uh, so, in the last episode, things got things got real good. Things got quite technical, actually. Uh, we started producing iron. We started producing nails. We started producing reinforced planks. We got a whole bunch of these caravans up and running. Very, very, very excited uh, for the caravans. We started getting our mining operation, um, I guess, created. I was a way to say uh, condensed. But no, we didn't condense it. It's 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 been set up for the first time ever. Uh, right, so there's a couple of things that we do need to do uh, as a matter of urgency, which uh, I haven't really uh, given much attention to for the past... Uh, for the past episode and a half or so. Uh, one of them... One of them is the fact that our stonemason is currently doing absolutely nothing. Now, these people who previously were mining stones... I'm actually going to ditch all of them because it's not super important anymore at all. Uh, and in fact, all these people here, we're going to... We're going to ditch these chumps as well. There we go. Ditch all of them. And we're going to get these peeps replaced with a... With a mine. Uh, we're also... We're also going to create... Boop. Let's, uh, let's nab this in here. Uh, we're also going to create a system, hopefully, which is going to produce, I would hope, uh, some more stones that we can sell. That's the plan, anyway. Let's crank that up. Let's crank that up to max. And then let's see if we... Let's see if we can maybe fill up this stonemason. Maybe crank that back down. Crank that back down to two so that we actually do get a little bit of a little bit of wooden rail manufacturing. This is going to change, by the way. This is going to change for sure uh, over the course of time. Now, I think I want to try unlocking this area because we're looking for we're looking for a little bit of stone. That's a fire temple over there. That's kind of handy. I I'm yeah. I was away to say I'm looking for stone and I didn't find any stone. But heck yeah, that is a that is a lot of stone right there. That is a heck of a lot of stone. That is a heck of a lot of stone for sure. Let's get this area leveled off. Terrain flatten down, sure. Nice. Okay, then let's get Let's actually let's actually leave this there. You know what? Let's be let's be really really daft for a second here. Uh let's be really really daft. We've got the ability to to get mines. Let's get that in there. Let's let's see if we can just create the most insane the most insane shoot possible. Sure. Now we are kind of running out of wood here. But that's okay. Uh, we'll be able to get more planks. And to be honest, we should be able to. We should be able to upgrade. We should be able to upgrade. What is it? Not this one. It's this one. Yeah, it's that place that stores that stores planks for us. We got a lot of planks that are being output here, but nothing. We, we're not doing anything with these planks, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, which is a bit of a which is a bit of a shame, to be honest. Because I think that we could do with doing something with these. Sure. There she blows. Okay. So now we've got two outputs. That should ensure that we're... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, we can now store about a bajillion... About a bajillion planks, which is exactly what we're going to do. Also, uh, in today's episode, we absolutely categorically have to get metal rails and also iron wheels produced. That is that is non-negotiable. But I want to sort out stone selling first because, I mean, it's just important. It's just very, very, very important indeed. Okay, let's get this let's get this uh, this long shoot created. How many roughly planks do we need? Roughly like 317. Okay, that's that's fine. I mean, that's a lot. Don't get me wrong, but that is that is absolutely a okay. Now, let's chat about the next big thing that we need to do, and that is to uh, basically standardize this entire process. Hopefully, in a way that is going to be 
that is going to be somewhat efficient for us. Uh, let's unlock this area. Nice. Let's uh, let's do our classic cut grass operation as we usually do whenever we unlock a brand new area. Also, I want to get to the sandy beaches. Why have I not got any sandy beaches unlocked yet? I, I, I need to find some sandy beaches. Anyway, uh, what I was initially thinking, what I was initially thinking when I was planning out this episode, uh, I was thinking that we should probably create like a little industrial area over here. I thought that that would be really quite useful, quite handy to do. And so that's what we're going to do. Let's get a couple of barns here. Let's get two barns at either side. And this is going to be storage for nails. This is going to be storage for iron ore. There we go. This is quite a this is quite a busy area. Now there is the potential for this to get blocked up actually. If I'm not super careful. Sure. There we go. That that should ensure that we're not uh, that we're not going to be blocking anything up. And let's get let's get this. See, I actually think at the moment it's almost certainly better for us to transport our iron. One two one two. Yeah, I think it's almost certainly better for us to transport our iron via via these wagons rather than. rather than via belt. I, I, I just, specifically for nails, right? Like, I just don't think it's, let's get that upgraded, by the way, and upgraded again. We need to, we need to store many, 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 many more nails. Also, this entire operation can be upgraded. Uh, we no longer have to, we no longer have to worry about people doing the, the coal mining, but I mean, it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, the point of the matter is, the point of the matter is, one, two, one, two, there we go, and bish bash bosh. Right, we're going to be in a good position very, very shortly indeed. Right, so I think that I'm kind of happy with this setup here. Yeah, no need to really change the, the sort of lumber mill operation that we've got going on. I do want to get a, a workshop, though. I do want to get a workshop that is kind of vitally important. One, two, three. We'll get three workshops. And I tell you what. Can't move storage buildings unless they're empty. All right, that kind of torpedoes that plan, doesn't it? No matter. Fine. And we'll nab ourselves a splitter, which we definitely have over here. Beautiful. Okay. How do I want to do this? One, two. Is that going to block things off? Let's have a little test. Reinforce planks. Does not block things off. Brilliant. Cool. Cool. And delete the grabber there. Because this is an input. straight ahead. There we go. Sure. Okay. We're, we're happy with that. We're happy with that. Okay. So let's get reinforced planks in there. Let's get reinforced planks in here too. Beautiful. Uh, this is the wrong way around that belt. That's fine. Okay. I think, I think that that should be, I think that should be enough resources. If it's not, we'll have to, we'll have to correct it later, but it should be, it should be all right. It should be just fine. Now, here's the next question. Can I input... Can I input at this level? Or is this too tall? Okay, good. Input... In fact, no, keep it... Keep it running. Let's get, uh, uh, remove these resources here. 
Not a huge, not a huge tidy up operation. Just a, just a little one. It's a workshop. I need a barn. Okay, then we're gonna grab specifically up there, up there. Grab a splitter. Yoink that in there. Beautiful. In fact, that should be a priority. Should be a priority sorter, or at least a pusher. Uh, no, hold on. What am I? What am I thinking of? Sorter. That's that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. That's the setup that we're going for. Cool. Okay, so that's gonna sort things out. That's gonna allow us to hopefully stockpile a little, a little planking setup. God, you remember planking that that whole, that whole phase that society went through? Yeah, not not a great one to be honest. Not a great one. Right, let's do that. Then let's do that. Then let's do that. Then let's get rid of this pile and let's hope, beyond hope, that we're able to. Let's hope that we're able to input resources this high up. It's a, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a, a hail mary. I mean, it's not really a huge problem if we're not able to, um, but it, it, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the greatest. I gotta be, I gotta be honest. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a bit of a problem. It's gonna be a bit of a problem if we're not able to. Uh, we're not able to. I, I say problem. It's really not a problem. It was always, it was always going to be a bit of a, bit of an outside, bit of an outside gamble, bit of an outside gamble. Right, no matter. One, two, three. Cool. All right. There we go. We have a pretty... A pretty efficient way of organizing the creation process of planks. That's the wrong way around that belt, but that's fine. Okay, I hope, I hope that one singular belt will be enough, to be honest, to output. We can obviously crank this up later. To be honest, I should just be on the safe side and get three bespoke belts. There's, the cost is absolutely negligible to do that, so why don't I just do that? Anyway, uh, we're probably going to be limited somewhat initially by the speed of our belts, but we can obviously adapt as we as we go. That's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. Right, have I got enough planks to finish creating this absolute monster of a shoot? I sure as heck hope so. I totally do. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is brilliant. Oh boy. That is incredible. That is incredible. That is that is truly one of the greatest marvels that I think I have ever seen. Let's get five people in there. This is how seriously I'm taking stone manufacturing and stone selling. It's a big freaking deal. Okay, are we still transporting shirts? We are still transporting shirts. I gotta be honest though, I'm not super happy at the speed of uh, shirt creation. Feel like we could be doing a heck of a lot better. Let's get a coin booster in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. There we go. A nice bespoke bypass for shirts. Need a lot of shirts on the output. There we go. We don't need that many coin boosters, do we? Not really. In fact, we barely need any coin boosters at all. Nothing stopping me from getting another... There we go. Another bespoke shirt route. Cool. Okay, well, that's that's good for now. Happy with that. Let's get... Happiness Happiness is on the up and up. That's great. Shirts, obviously, we're going to be increasing them. 
Uh, are we supplying? We are supplying. We are supplying wooden wheels. Which is great. Great to see. Unfortunately, we're not supplying anywhere near enough. Worry about that in a little bit, Potato. Let's get metal rails, right? So we need machine shops and we need iron wheels. Now, we need to get that through the machinery research. Machine shop, packer, metal conveyor. Brilliant. And the whole reason, by the way, I should make absolutely clear why I've set up this industry area is because I knew we had this coming down the, the road. The metaphorical road, I would hasten to add. Right, let's get a machine shop. And we'll just build one here for now. And so... This is where we're going to start to hopefully see what happens. Metal rail requires two planks or wood rail. I kind of want to build wood. I kind of want to build it using wood rails, to be honest, because otherwise we're going to need to get stone. What does wood rail require? Two stone? It's more efficient. It's way more efficient. It's way more efficient. To do wood rails. Let's make um let's make iron wheels first. We'll have three iron wheel manufacturing areas. Okay, good. And in classic orbital potato fashion, I am gonna do my best to keep everything spaced out, but I know full well that very shortly everything is gonna go to heck. And it's not going to be spaced out. It's going to all sort of jam packed together. But for now, it's fine. Right. Bespoke output. Bespoke output. Up. Across. In. Perfect. Right. Fine. We're done with iron wheels. How on earth are we going to get wooden rails? How on earth are we going to get wooden rails all the way over here? I mean, our wooden rails are currently sitting there. I mean, it's just too iron. Is there any reason not to do... something like this? Yeah, okay, metal rail. And metal rail. Let's draw from here. Oh, no, no, we don't want to split. We don't want to split there. We do want to split there. Perfect. Split, split, split. Cool. And now we just need wooden rails, which uh, I will actually be able to get. But perhaps controversially, I think I'm going to supply via caravan. Also, you know what? Let's ditch these resources here because we just don't need them. And I suspect probably be able to get quite a lot of utility out of having a jeweled road. Oh, I tell you what, we're we're out of stone. We're out of stone. Well, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. All right, no matter. Let's get let's get some wagons. Let's get some wagons. One, two, three. Is that enough? Wagons to transport to here. Okay. Let's see if that does indeed make a difference. This is only producing wooden... Hold on. Wooden conveyor belts. That's the, the, wrong, that's the wrong thing. We need wooden rails. Where the heck am I producing wooden rails? Whoops, wrong, wrong, wrong area, wrong area. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Whoops-a-daisy. Glad I caught that mistake early. Cool. Right, wooden rails. Yep. And... Into there. Beautiful. Right, turn around, go back. Hopefully. Ditch you. 
ditch you, and ditch you. Are we even selling planks here? I don't think that we're selling planks. Yeah, I don't even think that we're selling planks at the general store. That would be a way for us to get more red coins. There is a little bit of a tidy up required, I think, in a few in a few areas, but uh, but I can just about tolerate the situation as it stands. How are we doing? Not too bad here. We do need more stone. Let's let's crank the belts. Crank the belts. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff. And we can also get we can also get these reinforced planks to be moved across here. If we wanted to. That needs to get upgraded. That's a huge mistake to not upgrade that. We need to be constantly producing reinforced planks. Because I know we're gonna need them. That's the crazy thing, is that I know we're gonna need them. Anyway, rails are coming through here. That's great. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Nope, wrong thing removed. Ugh. One, two. Right. See how that works. Okay. There we go. We have done it. Just like that. We're good to go. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Make sure these are max upgraded because uh, we're going to need them. Uh, that's horrifically inconsistent. There we go. Okay, so, um, I mean, it's not perfect, far from it, but it's it's not half bad, actually. It's not half bad at all. I think we're quite content with that. Where are you going? On a roundabout trip here. You're taking iron to that box over there, which is currently full. Have we got enough books yet? No, we're still working, still working through this. Oh, we are... We are out. Wow, turns out that making shirts was quite expensive. And we need more cotton again. And part of the problem is really that the belts just aren't moving fast enough. Uh, I mean, there is something that we can do about that. triple we can triple the capacity see if that makes any difference right fertilizer let's uh wow, we're still out of fertilizer I can't believe that we still have such a small <laughs> small supply of fertilizer here let's um let's open that up so that we can store stuff other than other than fertilizer. Also, there is a shockingly bad supply of milk at the moment. Yeah, I feel like that's quite poor, actually. I feel like that is very, very poor. Okay, let's make um, like one tiny amendment to this setup here. It's probably not going to make a huge difference, but it's going to double the amount of chicken that we get out of here, which is kind of nice. Just small little tweaks here and there. Oh, look at that. Tech level, tech level five. Advanced logistics, jewelry, intermediate medicine, deep mining, mechanical rail, cargo ship, harvester drill. What do we need? Antidote and metal conveyor belt. That's actually very easy to make, to be honest. That is very, very easy to make. The only difficulty, of course, is the fact that we're 
doing all of our manufacturing in different places. But frankly, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, what do we need for... What do we need for trains? We need steam engine. What do we need for steam engine? We need steam power. Let's, let's get steam power right now. Steam generator, steam connector, steam pipe, steam booster, steam engine. I love steam in this game, by the way. It's, it's great. Okay, a couple things are starting to need blue coins. That's fine. Still need the steam engine. We can get the steam engine right now. Steam engine, water pump, and now we need the steam locomotive. We need 200 industrial points there. Well, you know what? Let's crank the number of people that we have working in the labs. No reason not to, right? It is still cloth that is our limiting factor. Can you believe that? Crank the number of people working at the farm? Sure. Right, so if we're able to get a few more a few more fertilized tiles here and there, that would definitely be good. Speed up the amount of cotton that we're getting out of here. To be honest, though, we just need way more cloth production. We just need way more cloth production, and uh, I'm not really sure how we get it, to be honest. I'm not really sure how we get it at all. Let's get, let's get yet another output here. There we go. Another output. Maybe that'll make the difference. Maybe that'll make the difference. I sure as heck hope it will. Ooh, we can add steam boosters. To be honest, we probably should add steam boosters, right? Probably should add steam boosters. I'm just thinking because, I mean, we're going to be using more books these days since we, uh, since we increased the number of people working in the labs. Let's also probably delete this crate and get it replaced with a silo. Ah, but we can worry we can worry about that a little bit a little bit later on. That's that's fine. Anyway. Uh right, so we're good in terms of wheels. That's great. We're good in terms of metal railways. And what did we need for the steam locomotive? Literally just 200, 200 points. And if we get the steam locomotives, then heck yeah, we're gonna be able to get ourselves. We're gonna be able to get ourselves a good proper rail setup. And that's kind of what that's kind of what we're gonna go for. That's kind of what we're gonna go for. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if I was to move this, if I was to move this like here, that still links all the houses, doesn't it? It totally does. Because it's all linked with the the path. Okay. Ditch these. Ditch these trees. Absolutely no reason that that needs to be there. This is what I think we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to make sure that this is jeweled. There we go. Are we still able to sell? Are we still able to sell to this, to these houses? I, I hope we are. But I'm, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it needs to be properly within within the range, or it can be, you know, sort of outside. I, I guess we'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That is, that is fine with me. Right. This obviously needs to be reconfigured, but I'm gonna wait a little second longer before before checking for checking this out. What do we got? Good cloth shirts. Great. I mean, it does sort of, it does highlight all of the houses, so... I mean, I'm gonna make the bold assumption that given that it's linked to all of the houses, it should be... It should be pretty much, it should be pretty much fine. Okay. Let's ditch... All of this in anticipation for the pending... Where are you going? Uh, yeah, in anticipation of the pending steam locomotive research, which I am very, very much looking forward to. We're pretty close. Pretty close. I should really just check on this cotton setup. I mean, a red coin booster. Do I want a red coin booster? No. I want steam pipes, and they're produced at forges. So what do we need in order to make a steam pipe? Literally... Literally just, uh... The 
basics. Right. Well, let's get that set up, eh? Excuse me? N not the vibe that I was going for. That is the vibe that I was going for. Cool. Let's make sure this is split accordingly. Good stuff. Splitter, splitter. Nice. Okay, so now we're outputting steam pipes, which is uh, a big win, actually. Very, very nice indeed. Nab some belts. Get some output. Get some output. Doesn't need to be super complicated. We'll upgrade that to the max anyway, just to be on the safe side. How are we doing with regards to reinforced planks? We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, actually. We can boost up at any time the number of workers that we have working. Uh, working here. Don't really feel like we need to do that at this moment in time, but it's it's okay. Right, so a steam booster. A steam booster to the workshop. Let's add it. Now, I haven't actually built any steam infrastructure yet at all. Steam generator. Heck yeah. This is gonna be this is gonna be exciting. So we need to get a steam generator. Let's put the steam generator like here. Sure. Building needs a pipe outlet. That's fine. Uh, actually, tell you what. Why don't I put it next to an existing coal supply route? I guess there is a coal thing over there. Put it there. Sure. We will need to get water input, though. So, tell you what. Maybe clear up this area here. It always... Kind of makes me a little worried about um, about using about using coal. It does kind of freak me out because it is a non-renewable resource. Right, so steam power is being created, brilliant, and we are ready to rock and roll. Let's build pipes, steam pipe. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, what is it, G? Yeah, it's G. That just came to me. Okay. We've got 96 of these things. Probably almost going to be enough to get us across here. There she blows. Look at that. Okay, very nice. And let's get the... Let's get the stats. Let's get the stats boosted, and let's see if that steam makes any difference. Steam power, it's coming in. It's coming in here. We've actually got plenty of boost here. That's that's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good indeed. Okay, it's still not enough, though. That's the absolutely bonkers fact about this. Let's go into tools, terrain flatten up. Sort that out. Let's nab another workshop. And output, output, and output. And let's get some let's get some cloth. And we're gonna add a steam booster to this as well. This is except this is gonna be a, a bespoke. A bespoke output direct to direct to where it needs to be. There we go. Beautiful. The farm is farm is still farming. There we go. Cotton. Can I get some cotton? I don't think I can actually plant cotton without going into here. Farming. Plant cotton. Beautiful. Right, so uh, I don't think that we need to supply water, and if we do, it's not a big deal. Let's get uh, let's get G. Copy that. I put there. Beautiful. Cool. And that's a steam booster, and that helps us out tremendously. That's great. That is wonderful. Oh.
why do we get a happiness bonus? Linked to town center? Oh, we get a bonus just by being linked to the town center? Because it's on the path network? Well, that's an easy fix, right? Oh, I say it's an easy fix. Apparently not as easy a fix as I thought it would be. Okay. That's a that's a that's a little that's a little bonus that I didn't really anticipate. Plus 65% per worker. That's that's quite cool. Okay. It's it's not a huge dealio. Not a huge dealio that uh, that some of our workshops are not getting that are not getting that level of attention that they need, but that's that's fine. Right. It's time to delete these peeps. All of them. I'm afraid. Maybe not these ones. Trim that back a bit. And crank that up. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna need a splitter here. Beautiful. Okay. It's a lot of it's a lot of coal, but to be honest, I think that we can sustain it. I think that we can sustain it. Add a yellow coin booster as well. Cool. Just to be on the safe side, I, I'm acutely aware that we have a, a massive excess of, uh, of yellow coins to use up, so we might as well. Okay, good. Are we ready to make a metal conveyor? Kind of think we are, to be honest. Kind of think we are. Antidote is almost certainly a big no-no, but but that's okay. Are we out of we're out of iron bars? How on earth are we out of iron bars? We've got five people in all of these. We just need more iron. Is that the is that the thing? We just need we just need more iron. I think we just need, I think we just need more iron. Okay, well, your wish is my command, video game. Okay. Let's see, let's see if this makes the difference. I sure as heck hope that it will. That is going to be a much more consistent amount of iron ore production. Looks like we're still good for nails, though. Yep, 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 yep. Let's add a steam booster to all of these. Because why not? Might as well. I will note that there is no... There is no town center here, so there's no happiness bonus. Man, that's such a... It's not such an oversight. It is a bit of an oversight. Okay. What's the issue here? We need water? We only get one water per second. I thought we got more linked... Uh, more water... More water through uh, through this through the through the water the, the water lake behind it, uh, but apparently not. Okay, fine. Let's get a water pump here, and what do we need? A fluid pipe, I think it is, isn't it? A pipe. Yeah, we don't have fluid pipes. How do I make them? Lumber mill from two wood. Uh, probably possible, right? Probably possible, like, uh, here, maybe? Select recipe, fluid pipe. Oh, no, that's, uh, it's not at the lumber mill. Lumber mill's here. Select recipe, fluid pipe. Yep. Fluid 
fluid pipe. Beautiful. And store instead of planks. Fluid pipe. I don't think that we're gonna need very much, uh, very much fluid pipe at all. But you never know. It's it's always good to have. Well, we'll get it in store anyway. Right. What do we need here? Well, we need rotational power from a steam engine. That's okay. We can do that. We can do that. Steam generator, steam engine. Beautiful. Valid output path. Uh, yeah. How do we... Does that work? I think it does. And it only requires steam as an input. Let's go steam pipe layer. Beautiful. And output to there. Okay. That's us. That's us on the go. As we get more steam, we're going to have more steam power. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's beautiful. More electricity, more water. Can I get another one of those? No. Valid output path. I mean... That's just another steam engine. <laughs> Stupid me. I need a water pump. No nearby water. I, I beg to differ, but whatever. Okay, does that work? Doesn't look like it outputs to the other side. That's fine. Rotational power. Yeah, pretty sure can only... Can only rotate from one side, but that's fine. Uh, right, so is that enough... Is that enough water? It's not quite enough water. That's the only... That's the only quandary that I have. Although that being said, it will be enough water. It will be enough water very, very soon indeed. Yeah. Because we're getting all the boosts that we need. Getting all the boosts that we need. Not quite enough of the, the boosts to the first forge here. But we're basically we're basically at the limit here of what we can do. Let's crank that up to crank that up to ten. Let's let's keep it simple, right? Let's get a few wells. It's probably gonna be wholly inadequate for what we need. But it's probably going to get us just a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra steam. And that's really all that we need. Okay. That is, that is good. That is as good as I think that we can, that we can get it at this stage. This person has got a little, oh, another little nonsense, another little nonsense operation here. This is so frustrating. Oh, we also need metal railways. How many metal railways do we have? 194. All right, delete you. Look, the person is using the, the walk route appropriately. That is great. Not wholly appropriately, I would hasten to add, but... The amount of raw fish that we're that we're that we're seeing turned into um we're seeing turned into cooked fish is a bit disappointing. Can I get a mine in here somewhere? Sure can. Don't know why I'd want to, but we can do it. Right. One, two, three, four. Right, I think that will be, I think that'll be enough. It's a bit of a daft setup, but if it works, it works, I suppose, right? 
There she blows. Okay. That's good. So cloth conveyors. We do have cloth conveyors coming through here. That's great. Let's get that upgraded. Let's get that upgraded. No reason not to max out our cloth conveyors. Still in need of a heck of a lot of cloth, if I'm if I'm being honest. Yeah. Still a needle of a lot of cloth. To be honest, we should also probably get water and fertilizer set up too. But that's okay. Shirts, upgrade shirt supply so that we can keep that all good. Okay, I, I do feel that we can maybe get uh, get the metal conveyor. The metal conveyor uh, stuff set up as well. I am a little bit worried that we are just running out of iron ore though. I did kind of expect us to be getting more iron turned into iron ore. Like, we're fine for nails. We're great for nails. And yet, we're just not producing, we're just not producing anywhere near enough stuff. Right, let's purchase this. Purchase this. I'm surprised that I'm not seeing any increase in the purchase price, to be honest. Can we just, can we just buy everything? Yeah, I really thought that we'd see I really thought that we'd see something. Okay, well, I've discovered the sandy beaches that I that I so craved. Okay, that's a decent amount of the map explored. It's going to give me a bunch of area to expand into. Did spend rather a large chunk of change on it, but that's fine. What can I do to what can I do to increase this further? I mean, pretty much nothing, right? Like, the town center is too far away to give happiness bonuses or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't really want to move my mining operations into the center of town, do I? Not particularly. Not particularly at all. So, conversely, is there another way that I can sort of scale this up? I mean... An easy way is by, like, adding additional, additional facilities. So we can split that in there. Yoink that in there. Yoink that in there. Split, split. Okay, good. And split. Let's get iron plates. Iron plates. I mean, you know that that's just a disaster waiting to happen, right? Ooh. Bit nasty. What happened here? Ah, I see. We seem to have got uh, seem to have gotten a bit of a kerfuffle with coal. Right. Well, we can always go over with belts, which gotta be honest. Don't love, but we're going to do anyway. Ooh. There we go. Okay, fine. Right, does that work? Heck yeah, it does. Nice. Okay. There we go. 
I I think that it should be enough. I don't I don't think that we really require altogether too much coal. We don't have a steam booster on here either. I mean, it's not going to have a huge increase. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it's it's fine. Uh, also, we are straight up out of out of iron. Let's get metal conveyor belts. Yep. Let's get steam locomotives. Sure, that's great. Train station freight cars. Heck yeah, dude. Jewelry, we can get. Sure, polished stone. Industrial knowledge tome two. Probably gonna nab that because we do want to get mine shafts. We do want to get mine shafts very, very soon indeed. Because there's some underground, there's some underground ore here. There's some underground ore for sure. And if we were able to capitalize on that underground ore, that would be, that would be exceptional. Because we are out of iron here. We are like absolutely bang out of iron and I do believe that that is what we call a problem in the business that is a that is a significant issue the steam is looking good though that's great right let's at least get metal conveyors done get rid of these resources here fine just so we got a little a little bit of extra space okay cloth conveyors I mean, the problem with cloth conveyors is that we are going to run out very, very quickly. We're going to run out very, very quickly of cloth if we if we don't find an alternative way to supply to supply this here uh, or to supply this cloth workshop. I'm wondering, is it perhaps beneficial? We nab a workshop, take it all the way up here. Yeah, something like that. Get cloth. Made from wool, very importantly. Remove all these resources. Okay, good. And wool. What do we got here? I don't want to make milk. I would like to make wool. Thank you very much. Okay, and we can... We can build up. Output animal feed. Yep. That's... <laughs> that's a look. Don't really know the, the reason for looking so spectacularly daft. Anyway. Right, we need water somehow as well. Let's get... Sure. I think that'll be enough water. Okay. Can't build an uneven terrain. Yeah, I mean... This is just getting frustrating. Nice. Okay. Output we drag out here. The... I guess that's fine. And let's... Nab that in there. And nab this in here. Now, I'm kind of hopeful that maybe we're going to be able to get wool and oh, and wool. Yeah, I'm kind of hopeful that maybe we're going to be able to get... Uh, oh, can we set this up to... I thought there was a way that we could turn off fertilizer production. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe I'm deeply wrong. I know that we can... We can take it out. We can stockpile it. Void Obelisk is, is what we can get. I thought there was a way. I thought there was a way that we could do that. And just disregard the fertilizer. Uh, well, I guess we can... 
I guess we can start pilot for now. Fertilizer. Sure. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... We're gonna keep it on a barn on a lake. Okay, good. And we crank it. And we crank it. Upgrade the pasture, upgrade the pasture, upgrade it to the max level that we can. Right, three upgrades. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. And now, in an ideal world, we get ourselves more. More grain. It's a bit higgledy-piggledy, but it should be okay. Farming, grain. Nice. Okay. Do we have fertilizer coming in here? We do. It's not much. But it's okay. Right. That's a lot of grain. That's a lot of grain bags coming out of here. I mean, there isn't another way that we can make grain more efficiently, is there? Uh, I mean, we could use we could use carrots, we could use potatoes, but frankly, I think grain is grain is better. It rolls on the conveyors, so it makes for quite a nice quite a nice operation. Let's add a coin booster, maybe. Cool. We can add a steam booster to the food mill. Let's go into G. Let's nab this and get that over there. Beautiful. Also, we should uh, we should sort of rework this so that we get a separate output point. Yeah, no reason to funnel it all through one singular one singular area. Yeah, so that's pretty that's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. Whole reason for doing this. Again, just to sort of state the obvious, is that we need an indens an independent supply of cloth. Ooh. Tell you what. Let's get this cloth transported by boat, shall we? That's kind of cool. Very, very cool, in fact. Silo. Yep. And in there. Let's get let's get some boats. Three boats. Cloth to there. Beautiful. And let's crank the number of workers that we have working in this workshop. We're basically at Max here. Let's get uh, I mean, <laughs> what? Did that fix things? Ah, have I have I created a monster? I think I might have created a monster. Okay. I could create a little elevated belt, although I'm just as well. Just as well doing that. There we go. Cool. Uh, you didn't like that though, did you, video game? What's the issue here? Too high?
I'll tell you what, it wasn't too high. It was just that the uh, the shoot wasn't angled the correct way. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, there's the independent. There's the independent setup for the uh, for the conveyors here. That's cool. We've got a lot of happiness. We got a lot of happiness. We got a lot of good stuff going for us, actually. We got a lot of good stuff going for us. Let's turn this into. Turn this into a separate route, one for eggs and one for raw chicken. The raw chicken that still hasn't been transformed into cooked chicken yet. But that does not matter. That is fine. No minerals nearby. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, that's also an issue. That will stave off the problem for a while. Only only marginally, I suspect, though. Right, so we're getting a good amount of cloth. That's something that I'm quite happy about, actually. Let's get... Oh, we don't have enough workers, do we? We do not. And we also have no additional worker capacity. Well, we got, we got two caravans. That's fine. Right, so... Uh, I need to nab one of these. Select that from here. No. Pick up conveyors. Oh, and right the way across there. Okay. Let's not use belts. Again, belts are going to be slow and cumbersome. Sure. That should be fine. Town specialty can be assigned. Mining. Ooh, okay. I mean, this is really making me reconsider splitting up the town. We should probably try and do that. We should probably try and have, like, spread out town centers. Now that I know about that happiness bonus for a linked network, it does kind of seem like a no-brainer, doesn't it? It does seem kind of important to get. Also, let's, let's double this up. Look at this. We got a proper, proper highway system here. That's quite something. We got a nice little bridge set up as well which I'm liking. We're transporting a lot of cloth. We're getting the conveyors over here. Okay, that's good. Let's increase the storage over there just for good measure. Oh boy. All right, population level eight is definitely possible if I just get a few more a few more resources in here. Uh, the general store as well. I mean, the general store is, is fine. It's just not super exciting. We stopped supplying stone bricks. We stopped supplying planks. We can still supply nails, iron plates, gears, iron wheels, reinforced planks, and pickaxes. All of those things we actually have. We just need to set up. Anyway, we'll do that in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. Thank you, as ever, to fantastic Patreon support over at patreon.com forward slash Obita Potato. Thanks to Banana and, and, and Aurelio from the $225 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.